What I've got here is a GFX 100 Mark II. And the first thing I did when I got the camera was to calibrate the EVF and the LCD. This is how I did it. I started with a laptop with a calibrated screen. And uh, it, it's really important that you do calibrate the screen, even though with this latest MacBook Pro, the screen was pretty close. When I calibrated it, there were changes. And I use a hardware device, a spider. Um, I use the same device up in the edit suite upstairs as well. And then I put both screens side by side, showing the same image and can just check that they are accurate. Um, and anyway, once you've got your something you can re a reference that you can rely on, then it's time to start in camera. So what I did is I went out and shot a JPEG. Now it's important that you shoot a JPEG and not a RAW file. Um, and I went out and I shot a JPEG of a street scene. And it can just be a, a normal high street with colorful shop fronts, um, col colorful cars, lots of tones, lots of highlights and lots of shadow tones. Include a bit of sky if you can, or maybe even a supermarket car park. It doesn't need to be a fancy location or step out into a garden, as long as there's a nice range of colors and it's not all just green saturated uh, in front of you. So that's what we're looking for. Also, if you've got a few neutrals in there, that could be very useful when you come in to calibrate your screen. So a bit of tarmac or concrete paving that you know the color of. You know, it's very easy to see a, a color tone shift in a piece of concrete. If it's a magenta green shift, it's, you spot it straight away because your eye knows how to reference those things. So uh, anyway, I put that car, the, the, uh, took the card out of the camera, popped it into the computer, move the JPEG onto the desktop of the computer, put the card back in the camera. Then what you do is you open the JPEG in the computer, just using the iOS or uh, even uh, you can use a Photoshop or Lightroom, whatever you, you use to do your editing, Capture One, Luminar, etc. Um, just open the JPEG. It won't it will show it exactly as it is. It won't try and interpret it or change its color space or anything like that. It will just show you the JPEG. And then you can then just press play. And what you're looking for, when you look through the EVF, you are looking to compare the EVF with the screen, not with the LCD, just with the screen. And we're gonna go through and use this menu system here. So let's take a little look at that. So if we go down to the spanner menu, here and go across, you can go down to screen setup and come across here. This is the page that we start on. So EVF brightness, well, out of the uh, box, the EVF brightness looked pretty good. And I, and I whizzed it up and down, compared it and thought, no, zero is where I need it to be. Um, the color, again, the, that's, the color is saturation is what it means. And, and that was spot on as well. The colors looked pretty good, consistent, both red, greens and blues that were in my image were pretty consistent with what I was seeing on the screen. There was a bit of a color tint though. Um, and what you do is you go through and you make your fine adjustments in this page, okay? Um, and I ended up with a minus one on the blue and a plus one on the red in order to get the colors to look exactly in the viewfinder as they do on the computer. Okay, so once we've got that bit right um, and you're happy with it, it's next time to look at the LCD. And again, my LCD brightness was perfect at zero. So it might well have been set, of course, in the, in the factory in Japan. Um, but the color saturation was a bit flat and I had to boost it by one in order to get it to match what I'm looking at on the computer. Um, the color adjustment, well, I ended up needing to put plus two in the red and in the blue. Now that's quite significant, but thing is, these settings are here for a reason, and this is the reason that you need them. Because what I've got now is I've got a, a EVF and LCD that that match and I go and look between the two and I'm, when I'm out shooting I'm, and I'm just hopping between the two I'm not thinking oh that's a bit darker why is that so dark or oh that's why well, this looks like the skin don't, doesn't look right there and it, it, yet it looks right there get them accurate and the thing is you know then when you're looking in that, that viewfinder you know exactly where uh, to set your contrast in your lighting you know what where, exactly where to set the white balance and the, and the exposure of course and so it's a really really good idea to calibrate your screens before you then move on to do other settings and other adjustments.